Hey everyone, so I've been doing some sub work for three days now, and when I show this to students, it's like standing ovation. They love it. Why? Because it's understanding. <laughs> and it's very simple. Okay, so you start with your circle, and you have your middle point. Okay, why? Well, a circle is a collection of points that is the same distance from your initial point. So you have your circle. This is kind of a shitty circle, but it doesn't matter. It's about the concept. Woo! So you have a certain radius here, R, okay. Well, if I take a rope and you say, okay, well, that's my length R, and I'm going to replicate it on this side. So it turns out you start here, you'll get to about here. It'll look like that. R. So you got one R. Say, okay. Well, I'm going to do it again. So I have another R here. So now I have one, two R. Say, okay, well, I'm going to do it again. So you come to about here. R. One, two, three R. Well, what do you need for half the circle? Well, it's three and a little bit. One, two, three and a little bit. I'm going to call that pi. That is the definition of pi. Pi is the amount of r's needed to get half the circle. Yay! So I have pi r. How do I get the whole circle? Yeah, double it. Yeah, double it! <laughs> Times two. So the circumference is two pi r. You have pi r, two pi r. Yay! <laughs> Incredibly simple. And now, if you took the circle, this is just mind blowing. It's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> so you take your diameter. So say they do the same trick. So you're going to get to about here. You say, okay, well, this is one diameter. You do it again. You get to about here. This is another diameter. You say, okay, well, I'm going to go again. And then you get to about here. This is like three diameters and a little bit. So this is pi d. It's three and a little bit of the diameter. Pi diameter. What is the diameter? Two radiuses. So two radii. So you get two r. So you get two pi r is your circumference. Yay! That's another way of seeing it. This is why uh, d, uh, sorry, pi is initially used for d because when you have a circle, it's a lot easier to find the diameter. If your mind is blown because you find this incredibly simple and wonder why this isn't being taught regularly and in, like instead of some not being shown why, uh, read this. A Mathematician's Lament by Paul Lockhart. I read this and it's just like, how is not everybody reading this? Including students. This is exactly it. Instead of being spoon-fed something, why not discover things? Actually understanding. Understanding is where it's at. Not being spoon-fed um, prescriptions of like how to do things and not knowing where it comes from or why doing it in the first place. So go ahead and read this. It'll be a really good read. And all your questions actually are in here. And thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.